Hi, I'm Joel Hamilton. We're here at Studio G Brooklyn. I'm about to get into the UAD MXR flanger doubler on some backing vocals. You can see here that I have a really slow sweep happening. The mix is almost 50-50, just a little bit towards dry. I've turned the regeneration down a little bit so we don't hear the filter edges as much. The width is about 50% as well. I moved the sort of manual knob around to be able to set my center point for the modulation a bit towards the mids where I wanted it to be affected. So I found kind of just off top dead center there that it affected the upper mids in a good way relative to the main singer's uh, mid character. I was growing up in a poor kid's millennium. I think at first glance, the MXR flanger doubler is kind of a limited box. And then when you start to dig into what it's capable of, you can start creating spaces around vocals or snare drums or violins or horns that really gives a sense of life and animation to the waveforms you've captured. <laughs> 